Hi, I'm Jordan. In this video, I'll show you how you can use views to navigate and edit a model while seeing only the area of interest. Architecture models are typically large and complex because they describe full systems like the skewless entry system. For example, this system is composed of many different subsystems and components in order to meet the desired requirements. Using architecture views, we can create a custom view to bring in only the components that we care about. A view can be created based on a filter, which can select components based on criteria you care about, like stereotypes, property values, interfaces, or even some custom filters that you might author. However, not every view can be expressed using a filter, so you can also bring in components one by one to give you that pinpoint precision that you want. Filters are not just for components either, though. You can use a filter to specify which ports you want to show on the components that you've brought in. Views are more than just pretty pictures. You can directly change element names, stereotype properties, interfaces, even requirements right here in the view. And because this view is on the same underlying model, you can pivot to other views or even back to the full composition model at any time to carry out other edits like adding new ports, new components, or even authoring new connections. Now, not all views are equal. For example, to get a list of all the parts that are needed for a system, there's no need to see the connectivity that is in a component diagram. Rather, you can render the same view as a hierarchy diagram so that you can see the same set of components and ports, but as a composition structure. I hope you enjoyed this video, and to learn more about architecture views, go check out our Getting Started page in our documentation.